Hello, welcome to my garage. Today I'm going to start the modification of my electric motorcycle, the Vectrex. I'm going to put in another battery. It's a lithium battery instead of the old-fashioned uh, nickel battery. The range now is about 18 kilometers and it should uh, go to somewhere between 2 and 400. So I can use it to go to work. I have a new battery, a new charger and a battery management system. I will show them later. Uh, first I'm going to start with taking out the old battery and the old charger. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started! First I have to remove the seat and some covers. Then unplugging the battery and disconnecting the battery so I can remove them. I prefer to insulate the wires to prevent shorting. Disconnecting the temperature sensors. The temperature sensors in the front also disconnected. And now I can remove the last battery. To get to the charger the whole front has to be disassembled. The connectors to the old charger are disconnected. Next is removing the old charger. Now I'm removing the tie wraps to get the charging cord out. Now I deep pin the connectors so I can remove the wiring from the charger to the motor controller completely. It's not needed anymore. And in goes the new charging wire that will go direct to the battery. Next is removing the complete wiring loom for the fan under the seat and the temperature sensors. These are not needed anymore. This wiring loom also was connected to the old charger. The fan in the, under the seat is not needed anymore. 
So it's completely removed. The space that is left over there will be used later for the battery management system. The power cord to the charger uh, stays in the bike, but it needs another connector. So I removed the old connector to make room for a new one. original uh, ground wire was connected first to the frame and then from the frame back to the charger but now the connector I have I won't get them through I think so there's another ground connection point on the charger on the outside so I'm going to put it over there That should also work. I didn't set the pliers to the right thickness of the wire, so it would not pop loose. And all the parts of the new connector onto the wire. This time I've set the pliers to the right thickness of the wire. Front goes to the Little one, and the other two don't matter that much. And I have Fox's cover off. Now finally I can put the pins in, hopefully. It wasn't fitting because I was doing it wrong, obviously. Uh, from this side, one. Two, three. I heard three clicks. No, that one is in. That one is in. No, they're all in. Shielding back on. That's better. Connector is on. I've bought a new kit complete with new charger, a nice DC charger that came with a bracket to mount it to the original mounting points, a battery management system, specially uh, programmed for the Volkswagen modules, a CAN module complete with all the wires. I have complete wires to connect the BMS to the battery modules. Another connection wire 
and the wires to connect the modules uh, together. So it's a nice and complete kit. If you're interested in these parts, link in the description. Let's put some things together. First I mounted the frame onto the charger. Now I've put in these, these wires are in already. And this module, I think it goes here. There's not much room. To be able to fit two extra screws into it, I had to drill out the slots a little bit. The frame fits nicely onto the original mounting point. In goes the connectors. Charging cable goes in. The AC connector goes in. And the data connector goes in. The ground or earth wire goes onto the charger. This one is connected to the frame. Well, here I have two out of the three batteries. Let's get them out of the boxes and see if they, if I can put them in. Just to make sure I don't short anything out. Putting some tape on the connectors. And the batteries fit very nice. That's it for this video. We've done a lot to the Factrix. We've got the old charger out, we've got the wiring for the charger removed and uh, adapted to the new one. New charger is in the batteries. I have them now in place, but they have to come out so I can figure out how to mount them to the battery box. I don't want to keep them loose inside. There's still a lot more to do. The, the motorcycle is not working yet. The battery, manager, the battery management system has to be connected and some wiring also has to be connected to the motor controller. But that's all for another video. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and see you on the next one.